Greetings and thank you once again for this time together. This week we are talking about I shall yet praise him. Learning to praise God even in the harshest and the most difficult situations and seasons in life. Psalm 56, I'm reading a few selected verses from this psalm, verse 4, 10 and 11. David says, In God I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear. What can flesh do to me? Verse 10, In the Lord I will praise his word. Verse 11, In God I have put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Psalm 56 is a psalm that David wrote in the early part of his life. This was when he was captured by the Philistines and, you know, he had been running from King Saul and he ended up there and uh, his life was at stake. These Philistines could have killed him if they wanted to. And in that moment, David says, I will trust in God. I will praise his word. And he repeats that at least three times in these verses, I will praise his word. I so want to place that before us, that when we are going through times when uh, things are difficult, in this case, David's own life was at risk, and we are facing things that could challenge us, maybe rob us of our dreams or other things in life, how can we still praise God? Yesterday we said we praise him because he's still God. He hasn't changed. Today I want to place this before you, that we praise him because his word has not changed. David said, I will praise his word. That's interesting. That in those moments he was taking a hold of the word of God. And so when you and I are going through difficult times in life, things that we cannot explain, things we don't understand, things we can't wrap our minds around, um, whatever the challenge is, you know, sometimes it's sickness, sometimes it's financial crisis, sometimes it's the loss of a loved one, a family member, it's an unexpected calamity that's happened suddenly. We, we just don't understand these things and we wonder, where is God? Why hasn't he come through for me? Why why hasn't he answered prayer? Why hasn't he delivered me at that time? You should look at his word. His word has not changed. And you praise him for his promises. You praise him based on his promises. You go to God and say, God, I praise you because you said such and such. You said you are my healer. You said you will bless my home. You said you will bless all the work of my hands. You said you will watch over my coming in, my going out. You said, and you praise him for his word. I shall still praise him because his word has not changed. And he's watching over his word to perform it. Learn to praise God on the basis of his word. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. That in situations we can't understand, your word still reads the same. Your promises are unchanging and your promises stand. And so we praise you for your word. We praise you because your word is is true and it will not fail. In every situation, in every circumstance, in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.